Hey guys and welcome back and since you have completed all the videos for the 6502 I'm gonna go over some simple calls that it's on the web so stick around for that okay so first let's go to uh, let's go some easy 6502 let's the creator of our uh, emulator Nick Morgan and I was gonna go over this creating a game that he has a small uh, snake game and here we have a define which pretty much come from C is pretty much says as defining a variable here is an address and here is a constant so if you come from the C++ or a higher level uh, or C we there's a define language and uh, just a quick go over of the emulator. So the find you give it a name, so system random, and then you can use that. So let me just delete this just to show how it actually works. And load a sysran it works. But if we make something like this, it define, and here you're expecting something there's it worked but since we misspell it since system random it's not it doesn't know what to do with this so it's pretty much setting a zero though and here we define a dozen this is a address fe and this is a constant which means as every time you use a dozen now it's going to be a zero c i was going to go that's one of uh prerequisites for his game and I was gonna go over it, but if you notice over here, uh, William Vendor Chot, sorry for the mispronunciation, uh, went over on his GitHub. So a shout out for him. And he actually went over and as you see all the codes he he commented on all of it, so it's I don't wanna go over something over here because he did a fantastic job. So you can go over to this one and you know, look all of this, uh, all of his interpretation of the code. However, since we do that, there's another site that we can go. It's called the 6502ASM.com. And uh, when I was going to start this video, there was one of the few emulators I'm going to use. Because this emulator uh, has a lot of examples. So if you see over here, there's a bunch of stuff over here. For example, you have there's a full game in an adventure. If you compile and run, here we have a full game as well. Like uh, this, we have the the Easy 65 as a worm game. This is an actual game. There's a bunch of other stuff like uh, there's another game over here in by run, compile. Oh, that's, no, that wasn't it. Oh, there's another game over here. But as you see, there's a bunch of uh sample codes you can go over it and uh there's the beta version 1.5 which is an updated version now over now on this one you have just like the r6502 emulator you've been using by Nick morgan over here it does have the accumulator x and y just like here it has a processor status the only difference in here we have the full bits here it has as a hex value then you have the stack pointer and PC pointer and uh, it's a bit different to use it so if I had a code over here uh, let's see LDA one let's just copy and paste so if, if I want to debug first I sample then I debug then I go step by step however over here let's go a sample let's say disco First I compile, then I, I have to click over here and then click run. Then I have to go step by step. This is the main difference between the two. And now let's go over uh, some samples. I'm going to go over two samples uh, because they're uh, generally fast. Because if you go on a, another game like this one, it's kind of big to go over all of this. So the first one I'm going to go is random. 
which is right here, dot .asm, which is a short for assembler. Let's compile over here. And uh, generally, some one of the people make the samples, they uh, submit it by anonymous, but sometimes they they leave their sometimes they leave their uh, well, nobody did. Well, if you notice this code from the last one, it has less samples, but all of them work regardless. But the person that did it, I mean, like this one, PJP, sometimes they leave their was the person that created. So let's go over random. This is going to be really fast. I'm just going to copy this code and go over our emulator, the Nick Morgan emulator. And uh, because it, the main difference I like to use this one, this has a monitor and this one doesn't. However, this uh, emulator is extremely faster compared to the other one. So um, just to show you really fast. So that game, Adventure, let me compile and run over here. As you see, you're playing this game really fast. And let me copy it, oops. And let me copy this game over here and put an R emulator over here. Oh, oh for, let me assemble first, run. And as you see, it's not as fast as the other emulator over here. So if you wanna use it, this one because it's faster you certainly could so let's go back over here oh let me go not alive let's go random let's see what's going on over here stop okay so press enter then you can assemble so let's debug it so the first thing you fe reloading oh, let me quit monitor we loading a random value and gonna start at the memory location zero like here and loading another random value and we're doing an n tree if you remember an n both values have to be one so in this case and zero three is eleven so one one so the max value it can have it it's if it's gonna be a random value, it's gonna be random zeros and ones. So it can now be Z B one, which is gonna be one of course. It can be two, which is one zero, a ten, or it can be three, eleven. Well it can be any combination of numbers. Uh well let me type it over here. As soon as you type it, you'll see you get out of the debug. That's why I didn't want to do it, but let's do it. So let's make a name. This is a value tree. Uh, let's go full by over here. So whatever other random value I'm going to get. So, oops, let me put this over here. Suppose uh, 0, 1, 1 or something over here. Let's put all ones over here. Like for example, this is gonna do an n, and this is gonna be a zero, so we can get the value for example zero. So whatever does it doesn't matter, or whatever is like this one, it's gonna be a value one since uh, both values has to be one. This is gonna be a two because the, there's this two over here, so it's become a ten, or this is just gonna become a three. So as you see. We're doing something called masking, and so we're pretty much saying the max value is going to be 3. So around 0 to 3 at least. And then it's going to clear the flag. So let me go back where we were. So now we'll start at 0, load another random value, and 3. See, so you got 1. We're going to clear the carry since we could oh, set a carry and no, add 2. As you notice over here, add two because the max value can have is three. If you go to notes, we see our memory location 200 for 5 ff is correlating to the screen pits, uh, screen pixels. So this value plus three is actually gonna the max value is five. So all of this is gonna 
set our screen uh, correlation because if it's zero it's going to be 200 and if it's three it's going to be five so adding three now we're going to start at a memory one which is going to be right here and then where am i so right here another random value and then we're going to make sure y is zero and we're going to store a memory location zero plus y so it's zero first and then plus y uh, the random value is 76 so what's on memory zero 28 so 28 plus 1 so it's gonna be 0328 and you're gonna put the uh, value 76 or oh, hex so to prove it let's go to uh, 0 3 10 to 0 3 30 as a step so I'm expecting 76 here it is 76 and it's over here so if I take this off and run and that's what the the random ASM does so that's random so let's go to the other one which I want to go through which is alive so let me copy this code you know, let me compile and run. So just so you guys does compile and run. Shoot, which is going the head of it's going up and down randomly. So this is random. Let's go to alive by PJP. So like I said, let me hash press enter, then the compiler, then I can assemble. I can run, same thing. As you see, it's a bit slower, like I said. So let's go for zero page. Let me run over here. Okay, just reset. So here we have a start label, and we're gonna load the accumulator 15. And uh, 15 is a good number. Let me step right. It's gonna be F because F is going to be right in the middle of the screen so for example let me go over here so load A with F store the on memory 200 oops not F uh, let's say 1 1 is because it's white 1 and let's do 0 F so the same thing compile and run Right here it's in the middle. Let's see, three. Compile and run. Right over here. Four. Compile and run. Right over here. And five. Oops, that's not five. And five. Compile and run. Right over here. And if you come over here over help, you'll notice that is exact uh essentially the same as the Nick Morgan uh, emulator a bit different as you see but uh, you still has the FE random generator and the FS same thing the color plates are exactly the same it's good for 200 to 5 FF so it's consistent so as you see over here exactly the same so oh if you wanna doesn't work and notice bugs or wanna send some samples just go to this email and uh, let's go back and go back to help over here uh, just looking for the name of the guy that made this emulator I wanna give him a shout out for him but Oh, there is Stian's sorry. So let's thank him for doing a great job over here. Uh, so let's go back. Like I said, 15 is in the middle. It's exactly the same as the simulator. And then it's going to start this value as 0 and 1. 
and go down to the random value and tree just like before then all we're doing is left right down all we're doing is incrementing and incrementing these values over here so uh, compare with zero it's a two no go left it's not so it's not gonna go left compare with one it's no go right it's not right compare with two there is zero flag got set go down so now we are going down the increment a value one so this f over here is going to become 10 and jump to draw so now it's at draw if it's not draw it's going to decrement on one so it's going it's just incrementing and decrementing left and right so sort everything of so uh that's storing 10 so it's going to load what's on memory one 10 over here and 1f 1f is because it's the size of this ypos label which contains all these values and uh, if you go to hex dump no, i can go to this assembly just to show you it's going to be all this thing this illegal opcodes or it doesn't know what it is but if you come to hex dump it's uh, better as you see over here all this number is putting right at the end of our code over here on the 02, 02, 20, as you see, it was put right at the end of the code. So, where am I? Where was I? So, over here, 1F, so that's the size of this. And then, I guess you go. Uh, let me disassemble. Um, 061C. So, 1F, so stay the same, still 10. And now I'm gonna I do a last shift, which pretty much is gonna multiply by two. You see, you got a 20. And the thing why it's multiplying by two is because every time you multiply something by two, it's gonna become an even number. So we need the even numbers, the values from here. So zero from there's eight values over here. And then I'm gonna transfer H wax. And again, I'm gonna low. Y pass the value X. So we're gonna load. So you're gonna go over here, low. It's gonna go over the end of the code, like I said, and then it's gonna be 20. So, and I believe 20 is 32. Let's go uh, hex to hex to decimal. And it was 20, 32. So here we have zero from, there's eight, so seven, 14, 27, zero, 16, that should be 32, minus one, this is 31, let's start with zero, so it should be zero. So let's tap, so it's zero, like I said, right over here uh... then it's gonna start at the memory 2 right here, nothing changed because it's right at 0 uh... then we're gonna increment x 21, it's gonna get the next value it's 0, 04 uh... where is it? Where was I? gonna load that value And then it's gonna start that at memory location three. Zero one two three step four. Then you're gonna load what's in zero. So it's F the N one F. It's gonna still be the same, transfer that to Y. Then we're gonna load a memory location two zero one two so zero zero plus Y. So this is a, it's gonna be a zero zero. All of this is zeros over here, so it's gonna be zero one two zero zero plus twenty one. It's gonna be somewhere over here. It's all zero. Zero zero transfer x to a. Then it start what's on uh, 
uh, location 0, 2, I mean, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, plus 0. So it's going to start, it's going to be 0 again, and jump to loop. So now, well, actually, it's going to store 0, 0, at 0, 4, 0, 4, 400. Then jump to loop. Whoop. Hmm. Store. Let me go to. Let me go to that memory look. Zero. Ah. One hundred. Oh man! I put it all the way down. 110. Here it is, valley O on. Right here. And that's what the, this code is doing. So if I were, well, at least the first loop, then it's gonna be going on forever. So if I let it run, that's gonna happen. Let me stop that. And uh, it's probably getting really long minutes, so well, 21. So we're gonna stop that, and uh, that's gonna be it for the 6502 programming. And now uh, in the next video, I'm gonna go over the, uh, like I said in the previous video, gonna go over the assembler. Probably go over, I have to go over some macros. I probably do that on a. With Dasma, uh, pro if you're gonna use Dasma, pretty much gonna switch for the Eclipse and uh, use the uh, the Atari 2600 uh, configuration that we had before. So I'm gonna jump to that and I'm gonna show you Dasma. All the macros, uh, go over the labels and show you what the assembler does. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around for the 6502. And I'll just jump over the Dasm. Uh, should be fairly quick compared to this one. And it is going to be. Shouldn't say it's going to be. And after we're all set with that, we're going to finally go back to the Atari 2600. So I'll follow that in mind. Thanks for watching. Thank you.